Hello there, Ray here. We got the final mob that you guys can vote for in the upcoming Minecraft live event, and the winner will be in the next Minecraft update 1.21. Let's take a look at this video announcing the mob and talk about all the different ways it could improve your Minecraft fun. Tiny Jens, are you coming back? We better get going because I'm not missing the mob vote. Let's just hope the new mobs aren't hostile. What was that? Wait! Those are penguins! So Tiny Agnes is still trying to make her way to Minecraft alive using her boat, but then she comes across the third mob, which is the penguins. Now there's a lot of different types of penguins in the world, but the ones shown in this video here have these little yellow crests on them, and there's a whole category of penguins which are called crested penguins. So it could be any of these type, probably being one of the taller ones, since in the video the penguin looks about as tall as the character, and it looks like it might be the macaroni one. Which penguin type do you think it is? Last time I talked about how there was a viewer that actually predicted the armadillo was coming, and they said penguin was coming next. God's unit got a hold of me after that video, and told me this was correct based off of a leak. In their post, they also had penguin as being the second mob, and armadillo as the third. Even though for the Minecraft votes, they came out with armadillo second, and penguin third. Look, there's even a baby. She mentions that there's also baby ones, meaning that you can breed up two penguins and get a baby penguin, kind of like we see with all the other passive mobs. And the same thing probably will occur with armadillos, and it might also work with crabs, kind of like we've seen with the frogs. Even though they're quite small, we still got to the baby frogs or tadpoles. Penguins definitely fit the cuteness, especially when it comes to the baby ones. Have you ever seen a penguin in real life? She then mentions where we can actually find these. Penguins live in the stony shore biome and they're super friendly, so don't be scared if they come up to say hello. Now stony shores in Minecraft are kind of like beaches, but instead of being the nice ones full of like sand particles, these are actually barren and they just have the hard stone on them. And sometimes they can be really steep along the water. Now these shores don't have too much to offer, although you can find like exposed ores, as well as now like diorite up on the surface for easy grabs. And typically no mobs can actually spawn here because like your turtles will spawn on beaches and most passive mobs will spawn on places where there's grass, but being all stone, it's a pretty deserted place. But that would mean that penguins can actually spawn on the stone here within this biome. Now, although when you think of penguins, you often think of like icebergs and ice and the penguins living on the ice, but a lot of penguins will live along stony shores and even rocky cliff sides. So it's actually very realistic for penguins in Minecraft to also live in these areas. And just like the other two mobs, penguins also have a special ability that will actually aid the player. Penguins are a bit clumsy on land, but they are elegant swimmers. Penguins can also help your boat travel faster, which I could definitely use right now. Now, unlike the crab, which gives you a claw, and unlike the armadillo, which gives a skew, but the penguin doesn't actually give us any item. Instead, it can make you go faster in your boat. So typically when rowing in your boat, you just go at a constant speed whenever you're moving. So if you happen to come across a stony shore, most likely there'll be penguins kind of playing on shore or in the water. And then those penguins will kind of come close to your boat and travel alongside of it, making it go faster, kind of like what dolphins do. Now dolphins will come up to the player in the boat because they're just curious and want to play around. But the dolphin's grace that the dolphins give actually only applies when the player is swimming in the water alongside the dolphin and the dolphins nearby. The dolphins will continue to follow the player as they are moving. That way you can keep getting the dolphin's grace. But this only applies when you're swimming and doesn't apply when you're actually inside of a boat. This is why you see speedrunners will actually leave their boat if there's a dolphin nearby and then they'll continue by swimming with the dolphin's grace as it is faster than using a boat. So this could change how speedrunning is done. So instead of like going after dolphins and trying to get that dolphin's grace, the player could just try to go and find some stony shores, throw in a boat, and have the penguins run alongside their boat, giving them that extra speed. Now I don't think you'd have to actually pick up the penguin in the boat, but I wonder if you would actually pick up the penguin in the boat. It might be a strategy to actually get the penguins to continue to stay with you. Now we can't actually pick up dolphins in boats. That's something they changed during the snapshot when they released them because it was actually possible to accidentally pick up like squid and fish as well as dolphins in your boat while you're just cruising the seas. But you guys know me, I like to take stuff to the extreme 
and that means we could actually put a boat on blue ice which is already a really fast way to travel and combining this with the nether dimension is one of the fastest ways to travel in the game but if penguins make your boats go faster what if you have a penguin in your boat and you're also traveling on a blue ice path this might be as crazy as boats were when they were first introduced where you could actually travel so fast the game couldn't even load and it looks like this boat is kind of glitched out where it wants to go back home what the heck <laughs> So if this worked, it'd probably make it one of the fastest methods in the entire game of Minecraft. So talking about if this could be used early game or even end game, I definitely think it could be used in both. So in early game, you could just have your boat being placed into water, come across some penguins, and move fast on water. Where end game, you can actually put up these nice little ice highways in your nether dimension, then you can easily go from one place in your world to the other, especially with the changes that are coming to Minecraft where they're going to force people to have to put villager librarians in different biomes if you want to get all the different types of enchanted books. That means the easiest way for you to get those librarians is just to build villages out in those locations and rather than actually transport the villagers back to a single base and with the ice pads instead just go ahead and travel out to where the villagers are at and do your trading there and then just travel back. Also, in general, we see with Minecraft, they're trying to force players to go out to different biomes rather than just having a single base. We see this with like the Amethyst, where instead of just being able to take one of the Amethyst buds back to your base and make an Amethyst farm, they can't actually be moved. So you have to build a farm around the actual buds, wherever the Amethyst is located. Hopefully you have one underneath your base, otherwise you might have to travel out pretty darn far. So moving between far out locations might become even more important in the future of Minecraft. But does this mean that it's actually going to be better than Lightroth? Ever since the Lightroth were added into the game, we can just kind of fly between locations, especially if you have access to like the above the bedrock ceiling in the nether dimension, which we can have here on Java Edition. You can just poke some holes and then just fly across the voidness up there, and then you can end up having portals without ever having to come down below it. And in general, Lightroth just kind of completely ruined the whole transportation thing in Minecraft. I know it's really fun to play around with the Lytras and it's so nice and easy to just take off and fly wherever you want, whenever you want, but it has made Elytras become the main way to get between locations. So maybe Penguin Boats will give competition to the Elytra, at least for certain situations, especially if you're already set up with like a blue ice path in your nether dimension. But what makes blue ice paths so useful is that you can just easily craft a boat and place it down. Then you can be on your merry way. But with the penguin, you're going to have to have the penguin either along your ice path or actually in the boat with you. Or maybe you can drag it behind with like a lead to get the same effect. In either case, you are dealing with the actual penguin mob. And as you know, it would be quite annoying to actually have to work with the mobs. So once you get to your destination, you can hop out your boat. The penguin would still be in the boat. But that also means that you can't just easily break the boat and maybe get back home a different way. You actually have to take that same boat, take your penguin back to your main base, Otherwise, you're not going to have it the next time you want to go on a boat ride. Alternatively, what you could do is just breed up a whole bunch of penguins. And then when you get to your destination, you can just leave the penguin there or kill it. And then when you get back to your nether hub, you can grab a new penguin and then use that one for your next boat ride. This does seem like a pretty tedious process and maybe we need a whole entire automation set up just to keep breeding penguins and putting them in boats so you're always ready to go wherever you want to. It might end up being a bit like the dolphin roads where you have to have dolphins near your little swimming paths in order to get the dolphin's grace and it might not really be worth it in the end with all the hassle you have to go through. What other uses do you think this speedy penguin can have? Excuse me penguins, uh, do you think you could help me get to Minecraft Live in time for the mob vote? Do you want the penguin to join Minecraft? Voting opens on October 13th at 1pm Eastern Daylight Time and you'll have 48 hours to cast your vote. Now there has been a theme in each of the videos. The first one, Little Boo, takes off and he says he's going to find his way to Minecraft Live. And that's when he encounters the crab. And in the second one, Little Jens goes off on his trip over top of the savannah in his boat, hoping to also get to Minecraft Live where he comes across the armadillo. Leaving Tiny Agnes as the only one on the boat. And then she goes off and finds a third mob. So each person finds a different way to Minecraft Live. And each person also finds a different mob. In the final video, they'll probably all meet up together, talk about each of the three mobs once again, and continue their journey 
journey into Minecraft life. They also came out with an article all about the penguin, where they talk about how you can actually find them waddling on the beaches of the stony shore biome, as well as swimming in the nearby oceans. They mention how this is like in real life, as well as how the penguins are social and super fast in the water but clumsy on land. They mention their special skill with the speedy boats and how tiny Gans, Vu, and Agnes can use this to get to Minecraft Live on time. So remember to vote for the mob that you want from October 13th to October 15th. On October 15th, join my Twitch livestream where I will be doing live commentary of the Minecraft live event, where you guys can join in the discussion right as all the new features are released. And I really appreciate everyone who has been supporting me, this greatly helps me out, and I do give perks and rewards with it. Thank you all for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye